thegospelcoalition.org has several articles promoting movies with sexually charged nudity. These articles come from Brett McCracken, who's the senior editor and director of communications for the Gospel Coalition. He has four articles of concern. First, his best movies of 2021. Next, his best movies of 2022. Next, his best movies of 2023. Those are all from thegospelcoalition.org and on his personal website some favorite shows of 2021. Numerous of these recommended movies and TV shows have sexually charged nudity or what some would call soft porn or even porn. I find it absolutely shocking that someone from the Gospel Coalition is putting movies with that kind of material in them and promoting them on the website. I've been at the, the Gospel Coalition conferences. I've been at the Together for the Gospel conferences. And I know that the majority of the people there don't agree with watching sexually charged nudity in, it that, in shows that have sexual filth in them. I heard about it from protestia.com. And I didn't actually believe the articles. I thought they were maybe slandering the TGC. But I looked at the articles and I looked at the movies and compared them to what internationalmoviedatabase.com says. And I was absolutely shocked that sexual immorality was being promoted on the gospelcoalition.org. I linked these articles in the description of this video so you can do your own research. Granted, I did not watch these shows. I do not know basically any of them. But if you just look at the International Movie Database Parents Guide, you can see for yourself. The author did not say in any of these articles that he uses something called Angel Vid, which is some sort of program that takes out swearing and sexual content. He didn't say that he fast forwards through these scenes either. Other Christians openly watch shows like this that are being promoted that are filled with sexual immorality, sexual filth, nudity, sexual content. Like Ruslan, let's give him a listen. Let's see what he does during these shows. Which you know, by the way, you know what happens in, in, in Snowfall when I see those sorts of scenes, which I don't remember the scene you're talking about. But you know what, you know what happens? And, and when I see those types of scenes, you know what I do? I just fast forward them. I know, right? You can just fast forward those scenes if you don't if you don't like those scenes, right? So you have a so, so so again this is this is the low level of thinking here. You you don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. You just I know that not all at the Gospel Coalition agree. In fact, John Piper wrote an article speaking against Christians watching Game of Thrones. It was called 12 Questions to Ask Before You Watch the Game of Thrones. This article, which was just the biblical teaching on sexual purity, was criticized big time. Also on the TGC website, thegospelcoalition.org, Kevin DeYoung had to write two articles against watching the Game of Thrones. The first article was, I don't understand Christians watching the Game of Thrones. But he faced so much backlash and so many comments on social media, he had to do a follow-up article defending, really, sexual purity in the Bible. And he called it one more time on the Game of Thrones. Those articles are posted in the description of the video as well. The teaching on sexual purity in the Bible is very clear, but... Christians try and get so close to the line and they even go way over the line and try and justify it as not being involved in sexual immorality. This happens all the time. For instance, just think of what Jesus says about sexual purity in Matthew chapter 5 verses 27 to 30. You've heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, 
tear it out and throw it away, for it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away, for it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body go into hell. And there Jesus is just being very clear. Things that cause you to think adulterous thoughts, you're to cut them off in your life. And a lot of these movies being promoted would promote sexual immorality and adultery in your heart. Also, I think of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 3 and 5. Uh, 3 to 5. Many people struggle with the will of God for their life, but the Bible is clear. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in passionate lust like the heathen who does not know God. And then going down to verse 7 of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, For God has not called us to impurity, but in holiness. And there we see that the will of God for the Christian is to live a sexually pure life, in singleness or in marriage. And finally, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3, But sexual immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you as is proper among the saints. There we're not even to have an iota of sexual immorality in our hearts, in our lives. Well, what does the gospel say to this situation? If you failed, praise the Lord. God is gracious. That is why Jesus Christ came to save sinners. You need to come to Christ. But as well, you must also leave the sin, turn from your sin, change your mind about sin, have sorrow for your sin, and come to Christ and experience His grace. Flee sin and come to Christ. Thanks for watching and God bless.